Hey guys, I'm Bruce. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how I made this simple DIY towel hanger. This is for my daughter's bathroom and she needed a different spot to hang her towels than what we've been using. So we got some simple hooks. We came up with a simple design. Let me show you how I made it. I'm just using a few basic tools for this project. So I started out with my circular saw to cut the board I had to length. This is just a piece of pine that I had left over from another project. I sanded it a bit before moving on. I wanted to distress this piece, so I started with a dark stain that I had. I wanted this to show once I sanded through the top layer of the paint. I did this in a little bit of a backwards order though. I decided after I stained the whole thing that I wanted to put a light chamfer on the edge. Then I had to go back over the edges I had cut with a bit more stain. Not a big deal, but if you do this, maybe try to think about the edge treatment you want to do before you actually stain it. All I had was oil-based stain, so I wanted to use a light coat of a stain blocking primer on top of it. Hey, Emery. We're coming to get what? Some paint? Yeah. So we can make a towel holder for your bedroom? Yeah. You see anyone that you like? Those? Yes. Show me which one you're picking. The rainforest mist. All right, so we're back in the shop, and we just got back from the store. Do you want to show the color that we ended up with? Oh, I like that. So that's going to be like an accent color, right, mm -hmm. on your your towel hanger? Yeah. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. I used a foam brush for this coat since I find it much harder to clean primer out of a sprayer than regular paint. I started setting up my spray tent because the next part of this project was to spray a couple of colors of paint using my Homerite Super Finish Max Sprayer, the sponsor of this video. I've used my Homerite Sprayer for multiple projects now, and if I had to pick one thing that I like most about it, I'd have to say it's that it can spray full strength paint. No need to dilute it first. This is a huge time saver and I've been able to get really good results doing this. A few other things I like about it are that it has multiple nozzles that allow you to spray different materials, the setup time is minimal, and the cleanup is easy. Homerite is based in the US and I've got a link to the Homerite Super Finish Max Sprayer in the description below if you want to check it out. Thanks Homerite. I grabbed some tape and just eyeballed where I wanted a stripe to be. This is the accent color you saw my daughter picked out earlier. I loaded that color into the sprayer and put on two light coats. I like the angle that I chose and I think it turned out pretty cool. Next, I'm trying my hand at distressing. I've not done much of this, but I just started with some 120 grit sandpaper and scuffed a few places here and there. It turned out looking pretty cool. The hardware was next, so I laid down a piece of tape, marked center, and proceeded to mark where each of the towel hangers needed to go. For the hanging part, I went pretty simple. I just grabbed some of these keyhole hangers. The screws I was using that came with my drywall anchors didn't quite fit though. So I just drilled out a slight bit underneath where the keyhole hangers went 
and the head of the screw was able to go right in there. Really easy. Time for installation. I like to use some painter's tape when making marks on the wall. You can really do a lot with a few pieces here and there and you don't have to mark on the wall at all. I marked where the top of the piece needed to go and put a piece of tape at the topmost part. Then I grabbed a level and figured out where to put the other one, being careful to put the tape where it would not be behind the actual hanger. Then I marked where the hangers were located, screwed in some drywall anchors, screwed in a couple of screws, and hung it up. All I needed to do now was to add some towels and this one was done. I'm really pleased with how this thing turned out. These hooks are very affordable. I'll link to them and everything I use below in the description. Um, my daughter got to pick out this paint color as a simple pop of color against it. I distressed it a little bit, which I'm not the greatest at, um, but I think it turned out okay, just a little distressing around the corners. Let me know if you have other tips for distressing things. I'm not great at this, so leave those in a comment below. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.